Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are at the 19th Annual Costume Designers Guild Awards. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What a wonderful honor being the first yes. to be nominated for an animated film. And this movie is outstanding. It's so emotional. It, it really is. It really tells quite an emotional family story between a, a mother and son and his ancestors and how he manages it as a boy of his age. It has a lot of resonance for people, I feel. And I really loved working on it. What type of research did you have to do? Because you're you're looking into um, creating wardrobe, but you're creating it for animated film. It's a little different. It is very different. Um, the the research is kind of the same, really, that you would do in live action. So I did a lot of historical research about Japanese feudal society, the clothing, um, imperial clothing, how that plays out with uh, different aspects of, of Japanese life in feudal society. It was, pretty fantastic, really fabulous to get in there actually and do all of that research. But what were the challenges then? The challenge of animation is the scale. So our characters are between 11 and 15 inches tall and we don't get any movement for free. So when you see a live action person walking around in a costume, their clothing naturally moves with them. But for us, our, our characters are static until they're animated by a person. So they need to be photographed at 24 frames a second. So we have to put all of that engineering it has to be inbuilt into the costumes. So it's very, very different from the outside of our costumes. You wouldn't tell the difference. But underneath, there's a, a very, very elaborate engineering structure that helps lead that costume into its next position um, and then stay there. So it has to stay very still. So that requires a lot of patience. It certainly does. <laughs> I don't have any. This would be the worst job for me. <laughs> I think I just, I love the attention to detail. I love the detail in costume and in clothing itself. And uh, for us, we really, really can indulge in the detail. If you think our characters are that small, but they also have to hold up to live action screen size, the same as any other film. So the level of detail that we go to in building the costumes is really, really quite disciplined and very, very involved. Well, your work is exquisite. I, I love that this was nominated. Just outside the box, it's outside the box, it's great. It really is, it's a real, you know, we're pushing the envelope and we're trying to open the landscape up and the films that we make are very hybrid and inclusive of any new um, innovative technologies that we can bring into our, into our realm. But we are based in stop frame, but then, you know, we use VFX as well. So we're, you know, it's a very unique and different field that we're moving into. And you're leading the way. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite look is from the nominated films this year.